Good morning, Mechaniacs. Jeff Wooten here. In my previous video, I spoke about recovering from injury and how you should reframe your view of pain. Now, I've included a link to that video in the description below. In this video, I hope to further clarify my paradigm of injury recovery by using my analogy of injury to a burning home. Now, I realize that the man has a firm grip on so many minds when it comes to pain, injury, and recovery. And because you may have spent years or decades following the man's advice, you may not believe that there is hope. I understand. And that is why my mission is to educate you and to convince you that there is in fact hope and that if you follow the simple paradigm, the MMM paradigm, which we will talk about much here in this video, that you can recover and you can recover stronger than you were before you were injured. I sincerely hope that by the end of this video, you will have a paradigm shift in how you view pain, injury, and recovery. An injured body part is like a home that is on fire. The home represents your body part, whether it is your back, your shoulder, hamstrings, etc. Now, the fire represents the injury and the chemicals that are released because of the injury. Once the fire starts, your internal smoke alarm goes off and sends a message directly to the fire department which immediately sends firefighters racing to the injury site. The firefighters here represent part of your immune system. And at this point, you will notice the four signs of acute inflammation. And they are redness, swelling, heat, and pain. The redness, swelling, and heat are the result of the increased volume of blood local to the area. The pain is your brain's interpretation of the situation. Now, if you recall, I've spoken about this many, many times about pain. The firmer your grasp is on pain, the easier and more effective your recovery will be. Once the firefighters arrive, they begin to put out the fire, but the firefighters are not alone. They bring with them Pac-Man. In fact, they bring tons of Pac-Man. The Pac-Man represent immune cells called macrophages. Now, this literally means large eaters your Pac-Man start to gobble up debris, broken tissue, as well as any organisms that could be around that are just waiting to cause further problems in the area. The battle rages. Firefighters and Pac-Man are killed in action. As they do their duties, more arrive. Meanwhile, the paramedics arrive to remove the dead and injured. As the paramedics are doing their duty, the waste removal workers bag up the waste and take it away. The waste removal workers represent your lymphatic system, which gathers all of the large proteins and takes them to your lymph nodes to be cleaned up. And once the lymph is cleaned, it is dumped back into your circulatory system as blood. Now, once the fire has been put out, and all of the dead and injured and the debris have been successfully removed. 
the reconstruction crew begin to do their job, they start to rebuild and they are meticulous. The material that they use is far superior to the original material. Their job is to make the structure stronger and more resistant to future damage. This is the, the mechanism and theory behind resistance training, actually. You get stronger, bigger muscles by first tearing them and then allowing the inflammatory process to work its magic. The acute inflammatory process is part of what Walter Cannon describes in his 1932 book as the wisdom of the body. You can either help or hinder this process with your thoughts and actions or inactions. Now, it is critical for you to note that the vast majority of injuries can be healed without any surgery of any kind. Your immune system is fully capable of cleaning up the debris, removing waste, and repairing the damage. And if handled properly, i.e. if you follow the MMM protocol, the acute inflammatory process will take just a few days. However, if not handled properly, i.e. if you follow the man's advice, then you will end up with a chronic problem that will last for days, not days, for years or decades of your life as the firefighters desperately scramble to get control of the situation there will be a buildup of waste and congestion causing what is known as ischemia which is a lack of oxygenated blood flow without good blood flow dead bodies and debris accumulate and release smelly inflammatory chemicals which causes more inflammation at this point inflammation is low level and ineffective because the roads are congested and not many firemen or paramedics can get to the scene. And the waste removal trucks are also blocked off and stuck in potholes. At the scene, the workers are undermanned, which results in more dead bodies and more fire, which results in more damage, which results in more ineffective inflammation, which results in, well, you get the picture. And this process, as I said before, can last for months, years, or decades, and can be quite damaging. Now, here's the crux of my thesis. When your home is on fire, the smoke alarm goes off, and the firefighters are then on their way, you will feel pain. And at this point, you could make one of two equally correct statements. And they are either my home is damaged and you would be correct because your home actually is damaged. However, you could also choose to say help is on the way. And this is also a very true statement. But do you see how there's a, a, a huge difference? The difference is profound in what you're thinking. If you're thinking help is on the way it is empowering because you you are convinced and you realize and you know that your body is being fixed if your thought is my home is damaged what are you thinking it, are your thoughts negative or are your thoughts positive in other words powerful of course if you believe what the man teaches you then you are probably thinking my home is damaged. But what if the statement you choose to believe, one of the two, can directly impact your immune system? In other words, what if how you feel about your situation can either help or hinder your ability to heal? Think about that. Many, many people needlessly live with chronic pain to the spine, shoulders, back, hips, and so on. And this is largely due to the fact that they believe in and follow the man's advice. By now, I am hoping you see the fallacy 
and his advice. If you hold on to the idea that you are injured instead of healing, then you will start to fear pain and, and it will make it more difficult for you to heal in the end. You will tighten up and the tense tissue will restrict blood flow, which will restrict the firefighters, the fire trucks, the Pac-Men from getting to the scene. The accumulation of waste will cause further damage and further inflammation. And this in turn will negatively impact your mood ultimately. And it becomes a vicious cycle. Remember the three M's, mindfulness, movement, and massage. By following this protocol, you will greatly improve your body's immune response by speeding up waste removal, increasing the volume of leukocytes, including the Pac-Man, and increasing your body's awareness of movement. Now, let me recap. <sighs> okay, now that I've recapped, let me summarize for you the main points of this video. You can think of your body as a city with neighborhoods of homes and highly efficient city servants, such as firefighters, police, hospitals, paramedics, and so on. And when you have an injury, one of your homes is on fire. Your acute inflammatory response is your body's way of keeping you well. And it works in three overlapping stages. Stage one, put out the fire, gobble up debris and kill any microbes. Stage two, remove dead bodies and debris from the scene. And stage three, repair the damaged parts with new, stronger material. And finally, what you choose to think and feel can have a direct impact on whether and how quickly you heal. And the phrase that I have come up with to help you to remember all of this is, how you think and feel determines whether you shrink or heal. Well, my fellow mechanics, we have reached the end of this video. I certainly hope you found the information helpful. Please do pass it along to anyone that you think can be helped by this information. And just a reminder that we are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Remember, please do hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe. As much as possible, let's spread the word. Send it to as many people as you can. Until next time, thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. Kung Fu Salute. Right fist, left palm, bring them together and bow. Thank you very much.